last September, I kind of started over my whole life. And I remember I went home to Philadelphia in December um, to kind of recharge my batteries. I went home way longer than I you know, normally would. I, I was home for the whole month. And um, what came along with going home for a whole month was being faced with this guy that I dated for a really long time. And um, he was like my first everything. And, and he and I, I just always went back to him every time, you know? And it's like this classic story of being with somebody that, that doesn't really treat you that great, but you you can't stop going back to them, you know, over and over and over again. It just kills you a little more each time. And um, so, but then if you're lucky, there comes this, this moment where you are over them and you're like, oh my God, if they asked me right now, I could actually say no. Like I'm actually over this person. And it's it's such a really cool, magical moment. and. That's exactly what happened for me in December when I wrote Jar of Hearts. Basically, I was at home, my parents' house, my old bedroom, and um, this dude came looking for me, and my friends were calling, and you know, and I and I was just like, no, you know, no, I won't see you. And so I wrote a song about it because I write songs like that when I'm overwhelmed with a feeling, as when a song comes out on an airplane, at a coffee shop, walking down the street, sleeping, sitting at a piano. It doesn't matter where I am. If I'm like in love or angry or sad or you know whatever super emotion I have kind of explodes so that's what happened and I was you know it was a mix between I'm really proud of myself for being over you but at the same time like how dare you come looking for me again and even you know trying to do this to me again I know I can't take one more step towards you asking mm-hmm. 